What, what up, up family? family? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dib. And I'm Jess. And before we get into it today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Welcome back. It's such a treat. Great play, fam. Come on. Let's eat. So, shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for everyone that's joining us today. We thank you for wisdom because just the small amount that you imparted on, into us of all things that you know and the way that our mind works is just a testament to how great and wonderful you are. So, we thank you for sharing in wisdom. We thank you for sharing, period. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, baby, can you tell me what we got today? Korea tacos. We did not cook these. We did get them from a restaurant. And what else I say? Oh, this is our first time. And mm -hmm. we came about 30 minutes, so they ain't piping hot. But, but yes. How y'all doing? What y'all eating? No, let us know down below. What else I was gonna say? I can't remember. Let's let you have the first bite. Okay, let's take the taco first. I know y'all have probably been seeing these tacos everywhere. Cause we have two. But two I'm things. I was going to say, but two things. We are going to make these. However, someone made a great suggestion in the comments section in regards to what they were doing for Labor Day. So, I shifted from making these using Mama Appetite's recipe today to trying somewhere else first. And then we'll venture off and do it ourselves. Yeah. It is wet. Oh, I'm falling apart. Mm -hmm. but I don't know how the hell I'm gonna eat this. Fold it. Mm hmm. But this place is about 30 35 minutes from us. And we were just gonna do the video in the car with the kids. But we're not having it today. Mm -mm. So okay, we're just gonna come on home. It'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you had these or made them down below. And if you've done either, what's your preference? Because one for me could be a little wetter for the amount that we got. I should take the picture beforehand to show you guys the amount of consomme that we got for our this three. one is from three of these. Pull out into each other. Because mm -hmm. we got three. They come in a set of three. So we got one for each. And I mean they're not bad, but mm -mm. like my appetite's recipe, unlike my appetite's recipe, rather, my appetite recipe look like it's gonna be both of them with, with flavor. Yeah. And this spot, and love. they originally only did the burrito tacos on the weekends, but when the wave started and the trend on YouTube for burrito, so many people came in asking. They're one of only two restaurants locally that currently offer burrito. So I can imagine going from only making them on the weekends to making them every day of the week. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be the same. Because mm -mm. even Mama Appetite recipe was like soul food mm -hmm. all day. Or a few hour process. Like tamales, that's usually a family affair. That's not something that one person typically does. Mm hmm So we have so much to do. Mm-hmm. And then this restaurant, compared to a lot of other Hispanic selling cuisine restaurants in our area, seems more on the authentic side. I 
how they're not bad, but they're not mind blowing, if that makes sense. Like, mm hmm Oh my God. Because honestly, besides the being wet and me being able to feel it, I can't taste the difference. You couldn't. Mm -hmm. Like if I had this beside a dry taco. With my eyes fall. The difference, the taste is the exact same. Mm -hmm. So now I'm ready to make it myself. Which that's usually one of the pitfalls that comes with mass producing instead of pretty much like taking the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because eight hours worth of marinade is gonna taste significantly different than one or two. Yeah. But still, it's good. Yeah, something different to try, but. Mm -hmm. Something different. We also just want to taste it first. Because if, even if we make it ourselves, we still ain't gonna know what it, you know what it put you in the mind of. Give me some of that hurting. Which one? Oh, the real one. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. But at this point though, anything would be different than this. Yeah. Because it doesn't have any distinctness with it. So I mean, we gave somebody else a chance, y'all. <laughs> Now it's time to recreate. I'm gonna say no. People be like, y'all I got something to say about the food, but <laughs> if I'm eating the food and I'm telling my opinions and experience of the food, because you never know who's watching you. Because mm -hmm. there are people that we bumped into that are local. So by us giving a full disclaimer, they'll know, okay, well, if you go there, these are things to look out for, so maybe you can ask for something different, mm -hmm. like us with this. Hey, can um can you make sure make sure my sauce my consomme bowl is full? It's mm -hmm. so just pitfalls that we see. Let me be. Can I call? Before. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not that we're food critics, but. People, no one really gives food critics that hard of a time. People look forward to food critics going to places besides people that work there. People mm -hmm. that want to eat there look forward to it so they don't know what to expect. Somebody said it ain't all that. Mm hmm. But somebody said it's enough. Mm hmm. Because technically, at this point, this day and age, we're all food critics. Mm hmm. Especially when you're paying for it. And there's a difference between being rude <laughs> and just being honest. Yeah. So that's why I say we're all food critics because we have an opinion. It's going in your mouth though. Mm-hmm. Now, it'd be a different, man, it's the worst thing I ever had just because something pushed you off about it. That's, that's trashy. Mm-hmm. As Bay told someone the other day, that's not classy. <laughs> it's not. Because although it's food, you still have to be unless rational you, about it. Unless it was actually disgusting though. Mm hmm Because how can it be the worst thing ever? And you see it constantly just Mm-hmm. You know, we saying it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Because I'm pretty tolerable. Mm-hmm. There have been things they like. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> but some things, I'd say that, you'd be like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I'm about my like. Right. He'd be like, mm-mm. And we also talk to each other when we get food so that we can possibly get a better combination ourselves.
Mm, mm, mm. I was even thinking about the taco truck. You've had, you had more, you didn't even get something extra from the taco truck. And I said I would, because yep. your food tastes and look good. We spent more here yep. and you ain't even seen it yet. I go back. Mm -hmm. Cause the food's not bad, but it's not blow your mind memorable. Because I I don't even have any flavor in the sauce. Coming in here? In the consomme, yeah. We should have got a spoon to drink a little bit. Somebody calling me. Well, don't answer. <laughs> he said somebody's calling me. On another note, we hope y'all had a good day. Yes. We just came from the, the doctors. Doctor. All good news. See you in two weeks. That's basically what my appointments have been. <laughs> hello. Goodbye. Or well, hello. See you next week. Any questions? Yeah, any questions? Which y'all know I don't have any questions. All right, give me some hurting, please. Oh, uh, there we go. You. No. Okay. See y'all next week. Mm. Or in two weeks. I'm the one that lost count this week. From what? How many you ate? Mm. <laughs> See? Bro, I think it's four though. Mm-hmm. So I think it's my third one. Okay. Mm hmm But you know you can eat whatever you want. I know that, but I didn't want to eat six. You want to eat three? Okay. Stop, babe. Hmm. I said I wanted one to eat six and you're gonna eat three. What if it's wrong? Go ahead. Well, if I open okay. them because I mean, if I get hungry, I can always no. eat some prawns or something. Mm -hmm. Which was the intent before we said, you know what, we're gonna get three more. Mm -hmm. Because everybody was raving. I mean, they that's the thing, babe. Also, what have, what have we said that we've learned when they get a lot of meat, people people rave because it's a lot of meat. Meat inside, yeah, it is. With meat. I'm getting full. And look, and I've been pulling, <laughs> pulling my bread off. Some more her days. But if there isn't one thing that I don't know for sure, is that this kind of cuisine is supposed to be flavorful. Like if I taste this meat by itself, I can just eat the whole meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I but I wouldn't, be able to, I wouldn't be able to tell you where it came from, like mm -hmm. what ethnicity. He is blocked by a gate. And he wants to get over here. So for those who are like, you gotta let him cry. We're gonna get ready to let y'all go. Yeah. But I'm telling y'all, that's his problem. Hey. <laughs> he laughing. <laughs> I wish y'all could see his face. He'd be so fake. He just want to get in here. Mm -hmm. But we came to share our snack with y'all. This is our first meal of the day. Also. Because that says something like this. I've been dipping and still been dousing in the earliest. Oh yeah, A we should not need sauce. nothing. Yeah. A store bought sauce has my flavor. Yeah. Okay, D Don Don. We love y'all. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to y'all later. We'll call you back. <laughs> We're gonna call you back. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Okay, we're coming. Uh -huh.